Hi, welcome to Leaders Speak at Stories at Work, a series where I've been speaking with leaders and asking them to share experiences from their life which have shaped opinions that they have. Today, I'm again in conversation with my friend Joy Bhattacharya and I asked him to reflect about his days as team manager for KKR and some of the lessons he learned from there. The first lesson he talked about today was about trust. And he said, you know, all of us bandy about these huge words like culture, trust, responsibility, innovation, etc. But how do you bring it alive for everyone in the team? And you do it through giving examples which people can relate with. And I asked him to share that example that he was thinking about. And this is what he shared. One of the things that we worked very strongly on in KKR is trust. So trust is a word bandied around very often, all over the place. I mean, trust is all over. It's here, it's there. You must trust it. But trust is a word. And yet, what do you understand trust? You know, Lakshmi Ratan Shukla, what do you understand trust? You trust. What trust do you What do I believe in? You know, these are things that have no meaning unless they are given context. So one time we sat down and I figured out, can we give context to this meaning of trust? So how do you break trust up? So what I did was I took something which is a very, very basic cricket example. Okay. Running between wickets. Okay. Now when you're running between wickets, here's the rule. When you're running, when you're, when you're the striker, okay, if you've hit the ball and it has gone in front of you, you call it. The striker always calls if it has gone behind you, the non-striker calls. It's a simple, very logical facet because your vision is clearer. You know, you can see it better. You can see it better when it comes to this side. So here's the point. This is a very simple rule. All I have to do if I'm a striker is if I'm batting, the moment I hit the ball okay, and it goes behind, I look at the non-striker, he calls and I follow the ball. Now, here's the problem. If I don't trust my non striker, I hit the ball, it goes behind, he says, run. I look back and I say, where has the ball gone? Okay. And it's okay, it's safe. I turn around again and I start running. Now we've calculated that look back is anywhere between 0.3 to 0.5 extra seconds it takes for you to look back, register where the ball is, and turn back again. Okay. In an IPL tournament, typically, in an IPL tournament, there are about 17 to 20 runouts in a typical tournament. Thanks to the way the format is played, obviously there's a lot of running between wickets and a lot of risky signals, twos and threes. And more than half of them are by a margin less than 0.5 seconds. So we said that if you trust, if you just trust the calling of your teammate, if you trust the calling of your non-striker, we'll probably have three to four lesser runouts in a season. And that's a huge difference for any team. So what we did was we took what is a very abstract concept called trust, but translated it to things that they could understand and things that they could work with. What a powerful example to explain trust. And you know, it is impossible to you know explain an English word with more English words. It is when you use examples or stories that you make it alive for people that work with you. And that is the power of stories. I hope all of you are busy making your story bank from experiences from your life and using them with your teams and seeing the difference. If you enjoyed that story, we've got lots more in store for you. On our YouTube channel, there are two playlists. The Leader Speak playlist has stories told by leaders from across industries and fields. The Story Bank playlist has stories that you can use to build your story bank. Go ahead and watch them now. And when you're on that channel, don't forget to subscribe because that way you'll get an alert whenever there is a new video and there are new videos every week. See you next week. Till then, take care and stay safe.